For this activity, you are going to complete this spreadsheet template in order to create a whisker box plot, um, or in this case, a candlestick plot because it is vertical. So the first thing that you need to do is enter your data set. I am going to input just random data. Oh, that's a bit large. And then once I have the data input, I am actually going to sort this data. So it's no longer going to align with my different attempt values, but that's not what matters as we're going to be using it to create the values that we need for our graph. So I'm going to sort this range and make sure it's set to column B and we are going to choose A to Z and it's going to sort the values from smallest to largest. I'm now going to use something called a spreadsheet function to determine the minimum value. Now, obviously, I can look and determine that that's two, but in this case, I'm going to hit the equal sign, min, and then I'm going to put a parenthesis and select the cells that my data is in and hit enter. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function to determine the first quartile. So I'm going to hit equals. I am going to type quartile. I'm going to choose the data cells. And in order to highlight all of them, what I'm doing is I'm clicking the first cell and then holding the shift key and clicking the last cell. It's allowing me to choose all of those cells in that column. And then I'm going to hit type comma and I'm going to put the number one because I want the first quartile. I'm gonna close the parentheses and hit enter. I now need to determine the median. So I'm going to equals and type median. Again, I'm going to click in B3, hold the shift key and click in B12. Close the parentheses and hit my enter key. Now to get the third quartile, I'm going to use the quartile function again, except this time instead of typing a one after I have selected my cells, I'm going to type the number three. So that's gonna find our third quartile. And then the last value that I need to find is our maximum. Again, I could just look at the data at this point and type in that number, um, but I wanna make sure that I get to practice my functions. So I'm going to select that data and hit enter. Now what I need to do is I'm going to choose the word data set and the values through my maximum. I'm then going to come over here to this icon where it says insert chart. And by default, when I choose that option, it's going to place a bar chart or a column chart. So where it says column chart, I'm actually going to scroll down and I am looking for the candlestick chart. So now I have created the whisker plot, box plot for my uh, launch data. I can just scoot that over here. And with that, your assignment is complete.